We have today, we've got here Mr. Jeff Brown, who's the executive chairman of the Black Oyster Capital. It's a business in Nasna. And he wants to give a painting to the office of the mayor, Eden Mayor, Mr. Memory Boyson. And he's going to tell us all about it. Mr. Brown, what, what made you decide to, to give this painting to, to, the, to Eden's mayor? So the Eden district is going to become the center of uh, regional economic development over the next uh, 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 years. And this uh, district municipality is in fact going to transform, in my estimation, going to transform into <coughs> the most important commercial, political and administrative hub for this entire region. Um, with de-urbanization and the move away from people living in the cities, the Eden district, in fact, is already been declared as the next economic growth point after Stellenbosch. So this is vital that the private sector, NGOs, social groups, political parties, or whatever, must develop relationships with the Eden district as it stands now. Of course, five to ten years from now, if you look at George and its growth, it could potentially become the Southern Cape's version of Midrand in Johannesburg. Wow. Um, so this is uh, it's an important mm -hmm. it's an important understanding to have that Eden District Municipality, as a as a businessman, I don't believe it's going to be just a small administration center. Mm. It is in fact going to become the strategic center of economic development, of economic growth, and of political, social, and cultural um, life in the Garden Route or in the Eden District as we know it. So you commissioned this painting. Um, what is it about and who painted it? So <clears throat> uh, two months ago we had the most devastating event in the Garden Route, the, the biggest fire ever in South Africa. Um, and it caused huge devastation, it caused huge trauma. And I commissioned uh, this artwork uh, with Ian Fleming and Warren Fleming, both of them father and son, uh, re world-renowned photographers based in Eisner, to, t to capture the possibility of transformation post the fire and life after the fire. Mm. And that life after the fire is beautiful and it is dynamic and it is um, and st and it is still t vulnerable and sensitive, but it essentially life after the fire is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And my business wanted to come and bring a symbol of life after the fire, because at the end of the day, our biggest challenge now and our biggest opportunity now is in fact how do we grow? How do we build? And how do we reconstruct in a sustainable, inclusive way uh, the Eden District post the disaster? And I also understand yeah. that the Eden District municipality, uh, from my knowledge, played one of the most remarkable roles during the fire in terms of its calmness, in terms of its leadership, in terms of its ability to attract resources to support them in that venture. It was, it was a very inspiring uh, information that I got from some of my colleagues that the Eden District really demonstrated um, inclusive governance, inclusive mm. leadership. And, um, and going forward, the Eden District, in fact, will become, I believe, the strategic center for reconstruction post the disaster. <coughs> Mr. Boyson, do you have an idea where you want to hang this painting yet? At this stage, the painting itself will be a surprise when uh, myself and Mr. Brown unveil it. And uh, based on its size, uh, we, we would then have to determine on uh, where we will uh, display this painting. But it will definitely be, uh, be displayed where whoever visits the Eden uh, District building you know, would have a view of this painting. But I just want to echo what Mr. Brown mm. has said in terms of repositioning Eden as a district municipality. And uh, 
at a district coordinating forum where all the mayors, all seven mayors, and all eight municipal, all seven municipal managers, you know, of this district where we met on a quarterly basis, we took a conscious decision that we will reposition Eden as the next economic hub. And um, we know that we had a sad disaster, but uh, we will take the aftermath of the disaster as an opportunity, you know, for whatever we'll be doing with the rebuild to do it better, to do it sustainable, and mm. to create more as an economic driver. And it's also our intention, as Mr. Brown has alluded to, that our political intention is that this will be the next metropolitan of South Africa. And the painting is as a symbol the of... The painting is a symbol of the pain we went through. And at the very same time, it's also a, a healing tool. You know, that uh, you can't change the past. You know, uh, you can remember the past and we will build from there. And that painting will be a symbol of that. Great. This is reality. It, lo it, it's, it looks more like a photograph than a painting, though. Yeah. Is it a photograph? It is a photograph, but, you know... Um, Done in a very artistic with, uh, way. With art yeah. uh, and the framing and all of that. So Warren and Ian... It's, it's some innovation. 